Yeah, no, just uh, super excited for the opportunity that our team has earned to, to be at this stage. Um, excited to be in a great volleyball environment. Uh, you know, looking forward to to a big challenge here ahead of us, but really just um, trying to stay in the moment and, and take it one day at a time and uh, keep fighting our way through this. Bella, what, like what wins this year gave you confidence that you guys could be a team that you know, could get to this level of the tournament? Um, I think at the very beginning of the season, we started out strong. We beat Penn State, who was ranked top 10 at the time. So that was like our very first game. And or in our second game, but our first weekend, and I was just really excited about what this team had the potential to do. And then throughout the season, we had some good wins. One of which was being beating Louisville, and that was super exciting for us. And I think we just had our ups and downs, but the ups definitely gave us confidence to get to where we are now. Yeah, but from what you've seen on Phil, do. You kind of say that Nebraska is probably the best team you guys will have seen so far this year? Uh, yeah, we're really excited to play a team like Nebraska. We've been working to be at this place, so uh, really excited to play here in this environment. Like Michelle said, one of the best environments in the country, so we are getting ready for that. <coughs> Coach, what was your reaction when you saw the 1 o'clock central start time? And what kind of adjustments do you have to do for a midday match? Yeah, um, we knew that it is what it is. I, you know, don't really have a too much say on that. We're just, I, I think, excited for the opportunity to showcase volleyball the whole day. So we knew that somebody was going to have to play at one, um, and then from there we're just building our schedule around what we need to do. Um, last week we played at four, um, you know, and seven. So. And we usually practice at three, so it's a little bit earlier. But our Sunday matches are at one, so in, in the ACC, which helps us a little bit familiar with that kind of schedule as far as meals and you know when we get to to get on the court and things like that. But um, but you know at this time of the year, you just got to be ready for anything, and then you got to be ready to to face the best every time that you get out there. So we're just again excited about how we plan on this, and we're hopefully planning to to put our players in the best position possible to perform. Bill and Bianca, I mean, for you, how do you prepare for you throughout the afternoon matches during the regular season? How do you, how is your preparation different to get ready for those earlier start times? Well, our schedule is a little bit different, like what time we get to the gym, what we kind of do beforehand. But I think it's just kind of being able to wake up a little bit sooner, get our game minds ready because we play earlier than maybe a seven o'clock game where we might have classes and other things like that. So. It's kind of nice because like your day is solely focused on volleyball, so we're locked in from the start. Coach, when you when you did your first intro on Nebraska with your players on on Monday or Tuesday, what did you what did you tell them you have to be really good at and focused on? Um, everything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we just we just have so much respect for for the program and the coaches and the players. Obviously, we're big fans of the sport of volleyball, so. We understand and appreciate what they do for the game, uh, but we also love to play and compete, you know, and I think that, again, they're the best team in the country, and we're going to have to do things at a very high level, uh, but, but we play at a very high level in our gym every day as well, so we're, we're going to come in here with some confidence and really try to apply a lot of the things that we do every day um, and make them have to earn every point that, that they play. So we're just, uh, again, try to prepare for some tendencies and, and obviously you got to defend a lot of things and there's a lot of things you need to do um, but we yeah, I think we burn our way to be here and then we're, we're going to be ready for this next challenge any more questions from the media here okay go ahead and zoom all right Jack all you <laughs> all right y'all can y'all can hear me Yes. Yep. Um, I mean, y'all have been to this stage multiple times. It's not a new thing to be traveling to a late stage NCAA tournament game. Are the butterflies the same? Is it just kind of more rinse and repeat that now that y'all have done this a couple times? Um. Yes. I mean, yeah, of course. When the six sixteen is kind of different, like all the matches we play, but it's the same way we prepare for the first match in our season is going to be the same way here. Like, uh, we work hard for this the whole year and we earn to be here. So we are just going to go for it and enjoy the game and just fight. 
Does the fact that they smashed came during reading day? Was that helpful knowing that they're missing finals? Came during what? During reading day. Uh, oh. <laughs> finals, ready for finals. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're student athletes. we got to do both. So I think, like, we're just kind of, like, being where our feet are. So if we're in the practice facility, if we're in the game, like, that's where we are. After that, we can worry about our finals and our schooling. But, you know, one thing at a time. <laughs> it's a good problem to have, yeah. that's what I say. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Right, after you mean you played it. Couple bigger crowds in Ohio State. You know, Georgia when you hosted them was a big uh -huh. crowd in the last couple games. So, how do you prepare for the atmosphere you you'll play in front of here at Devaney? Uh, I, I think again, I think they're just excited to to enjoy it. You know, I think that people here love volleyball. They've seen volleyball at a high level. Um, they're very respectful of the opponents that come in here. Uh, you know, and and I think again, it's just just a very uh, unique opportunity for us to be able to be at, at such a great place that really supports the game and, and our loyal fans and, you know, probably one of the best volleyball atmospheres uh, in the world. Uh, so we're just excited. We're just excited for the opportunity. Um, we want to keep playing volleyball. We love this game. We love what we do. Uh, we're very proud of our of our program and, and the things that we have accomplished. And what a what a better you know just a great opportunity to be out here competing against a great team and in a great environment. So it doesn't it doesn't get much better than that. So we're excited. You guys have any anything to add? I mean, uh, of course, it's not easy to find a place like this to play against. Uh, a really good team and uh, in a really pretty good environment. I feel like you know if we have a really good environment too with less people, but it's still pretty loud in there. So we're just excited to play here. That's it. What's it been like over the last couple of years? This volleyball has been growing as a sport nationally and down in Georgia too. I know when I go down to visit my dad and uh, <laughs> you go to the high school games. But what's it been like just as players the last couple of years to see this grow? Um, I think. Just exciting like it's awesome to be see volleyball growing this way and then to also be a player during this time like I'm sure like Michelle can vouch for that like she's played throughout the years and then to still be involved during all of this growth and is just really exciting for the sport yeah it's awesome to see what we knew all along right there's great players great it's a great game um, and I think it's it's we're getting more and more opportunities to be exposed to a larger um, audience and and it's it's paying off. I think that people feel the same that when they get to see volleyball and they get to see what these players are doing on the court. Uh, it's pretty amazing. It's next level, and uh, we're excited that that continues to grow and that the support's there because um, we've we've known it's been a great game all along. So, coach, for fans who are not familiar with Georgia Tech volleyball, what would you say is your identity? What is your style of play? And what can they expect to see tomorrow? Yeah, I think I mean uh, de I think our defense has been what has carried us, you, you know, throughout the season. Uh, we're a balanced team. I think we're on a six-two right now. We've we've been doing a really great job uh, with that and, and trying to balance out our offense and really uh, be good at the little things. We know we talk about that in our gym a lot in the fundamentals, the ball control, uh, understanding the game situations, and understanding our game plan and how we want to execute. Uh, but but we're we're a team that that loves to compete. You know, there is no uh, there's not one point that we'll give up on. Um, and I and I think if anybody saw that last point against the Florida match, I mean that's pretty much our identity right there. Is we'll we'll fight for points, uh, we'll fight to get back in games, we'll we'll fight to kind of gain momentum back. These are all things that we're we're here to make sure we leave it all on the court. And I think we have done that most often than not this season, and that got us here. So just a excited to compete. I mean, I don't know if you guys had any. Yeah, I think you said, you yeah. said it all. <laughs>